Yeah, early in the morning, I need that gas station coffee. Folks, thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to touch base and check in with my channel. It's great to have the opportunity to sit and talk with you now. Don't expect me to say, oh, it's great to be back in the office, because it's not. <laughs> I would rather be in Nevada, in California, where I was visiting my oldest son, driving Corvettes on the track. Oh, man, I've got so much footage. I don't even... <laughs> I didn't know I'm going to have time to put this together and share with you guys, but I had an amazing time, met some incredible people. That's, that's Corvette, man. It really is, for the most part. We're going to talk some 2022 information, and I apologize. Last night I said that I was going to do a video, but really last night, well, it ended up being the first night I've gotten more than five hours sleep. We've been pushing it pretty hard, but uh, I've been having a blast. I can't wait to share some of that stuff with you. Start off today, though, with something that's on my mind, and so much can be construed from the statement I wrote it down, so I was able to present it to you in the manner in which I originally had thought about it, and then we'll talk about some ordering, and then I got a lot to do today, and so do you. A lot of relationships and friendships have been built around this new C8 Corvette. A lot of relationships and friendships have been ruined by this new C8 Corvette. I don't want to expand on this in detail. I'll save that for my book. <laughs> Boy, I got some raw Ricky for that. Very crazy, demanding marketplace. It is a true supply and demand situation. A lot of factors have gotten us to this point and we're not out of it yet. It's going to continue. And why I wrote this, again, with just being very general. For those of you that are looking to buy this car and take advantage of our good nature selling below the marketplace just to flip the car and then sell it in a manner that shouldn't be done. Let's leave it at that. Shouldn't be done. Puts me in our store in a compromising position and puts many people out there. There's a lot of good people that have waited, that really want to enjoy this car, share the experiences that we are on the channel. They're like, yeah, I want to do that. What about me, man? I'm ready. It's going to be a wait. We got some tough situations that we're dealing with right now, and that's everywhere and everywhere. <laughs> no matter what you go, try to, to order food, to build a house, to do anything. It's, it's tough, and it's still going to be tough, which is a good thing for Corvette because of the demand the, the droves of new people coming to the marketplace, people need, need to understand that. It's gonna be a wait. Doing what we can, and I'll do all I can to keep you guys up to date here on the channel with current market conditions. Right now, it is as nutty as it ever has been. I think it's actually crazier now than it was when the car was first launched. Number of factors for that too. Again, I can't wait to share some of the footage from Spring Mountain. Oh, my gosh. Let's talk some 2022 information real quick. Let me just tell you this. We are now into the second allocation tagging and releasing cycle to send orders to Bowling Green Assembly to get built. The numbers we got yesterday, nowhere, of course, they never are. Uh, nowhere near what we need, but still much lower than what I anticipated. And I did a video on the first allocation cycle last month, and I told you guys, much lower than I thought, and I knew that that was just like not even a full cycle, and they're trying to just get going. Part of the reason for yesterday's number is in the memo that we got from Chevy, they're stating that in September and October allocations, they're going to default one allocation for dealers who never even got a 2021 Corvette. So you've got the big pool, and you don't even, we don't know how many dealers didn't get a car, so that will come out of the big number. Hence, the volume dealers and all dealers, such as ourselves, will get less as we move forward. So it's going to be a slow start. But last month, there's a guy out there. I don't want to bash the guy. But just so you have an idea of what I'm dealing with and how things are perceived. <laughs> I, I could spin the stuff I share with you guys. I could spin so many different ways. I'd rather just kind of keep it real. So I give him credit. He's a Chevrolet uh, salesman, and he's doing YouTube videos to keep his customers informed. Some of his titles are very specific information, but you'll watch the video, and it's not specific. It's, I think, and maybe this, and it's like, 
well, wait a minute, that's not what I clicked here. Okay, so whatever. So he does a video for the first allocation cycle to make an effort to communicate with his customers. I mean, this is a great way for us to connect. Again, for you guys to take the time to click and watch means a lot to me. He states in his first thing, because I said, we got a lot less than we expected. He says, oh, I got, I got a lot more allocation than I ever thought. I have no idea why I got all these extra cars. It could be because I don't have any cars right now, and I guess I got uh, blah, blah, blah. A new eight, it goes into the eight, <laughs> just like, wait a minute, what? He goes in and starts talking about the ADS system, the available day supply, and we're not in the environment yet that, you know, because he was assuming that he got a bunch of Corvettes because he didn't have any Corvettes. Well, we're not there yet. Well, you you will at one point be able to get extra cars or get cars. Okay, that's the whole reason for that. That way Chevy doesn't have to say, well, here's a number you get. And we complain that we didn't get that number. They don't want to hear it either. Here, turn and earn, baby. Uh, so we're not in that full environment yet. So he's going on. Well, I ain't got all these extra cars. People are calling me, stopping my day. Well, hey, Ricky, you said you didn't get that many cars, but this guy, I don't know who he is, but he says he got all these extra cars. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. So I call, I call one of my buddies and say, hey man, I'm sorry to bother you. Can you give me an idea how many cars this guy got? Because I'm just getting blown up and the perception is just, it's out there, man. She says, yeah, he usually gets one or two cars. He got three. I got a lot more cars than I ever expected again. <laughs> so I get it, man. Uh, more on all that as we move forward. So, yes, um, I'll be reaching as many people as I can over the next several days talking about uh, order tagging and finalization. It's not as many as I want. Um, it is a process. You guys need to know that it, it's it's going to take some time. So um, you just need to hang in there. And we have more statements coming up from customers telling you that it's worth the wait. I've told you that. I'm experiencing that. And I want you to experience that. But you're going to need to be patient because there's, there's just nothing I can do right now. The market conditions are changing right before our very eyes. I kid you not. So the quick memo we got yesterday, and I'll wrap this up for you. Uh, we know that Bowling Green's on two shifts. 21 orders are complete. They're talking about the ADS system is going to flip for 2022. We'll do more details on that for you guys, but I expanded just a little bit here so you get an idea what's going on. Um, you know, for us as a volume dealer, it's not like, you know, you have to have some historicals. Okay, so we do. So we expect XXX. And we're not getting that just yet, but they're not. It, it, it's all good, man. It's all good. Just a matter of time. I still believe in my heart that 2022, and I said this before, is going to be the breakout year for Corvette as far as volume and availability. I, I really believe that. Just it's slow to start. That's all. I mean, so it is what it is. So a couple other quick updates they gave us in this memo and stuff you guys already been partaking in. Uh, the visualizer, that's live. The order guide is live. We shared that. And actually, they've confirmed uh, one... I'm not sure what video it was, but a while ago, we were the first on YouTube to tell you that it looked like production was going to start for 2022s in the week of September 6th. And then last month, it looked like the memos had a little bit of a confusing message, and it appeared that maybe they're going to build, uh, you know, toward the end of September. We're waiting for confirmation. We do have confirmation that the week of September 6th is the start of retail production for 2022 Corvette. So that really helped them even though it hurt us cutting that last allocation cycle, just thousands of cars so they could kind of get back on track. Get ready, yeah, for Z06. I even got some intel on Z06. But it's intel, so I can't tell, all right? So <laughs> hang on. And the only other thing that they uh, talk about here is that the build your own tool where you go on, yeah, the visualizer is there, but you go on to Chevrolet.com, you build it and price it. That doesn't go live until September 14th. So that's the latest in 2022. I hope I'm able to report next month. I got a lot more allocation than I ever thought I was going to get. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, you guys. Um, I'm going to try to have something for you on our Sunday Coffee with Conti, even if it's just a short segment from the Ron Fellow School. Uh, probably one of my best experiences in the four times that I've been there. 
Uh, what an honor to have my son there, to meet so many, uh, just so many wonderful people that watched the channel and came up and talked to us. Many of my customers that I've done business with that I never met got a chance to meet there. That was pretty cool. I even got this, uh, even got this cool, we had this in the cart. There's still water in it. <laughs> we got this in the car and it fits right, see how it's contoured? It fits right in the cup holder, not the one. Roll the momentum, and then you'll catch me in the middle of turn two. All right, back to full throttle here, Rick. All the way to the end of the curve. Lift, let it widen the dip. Look for the apex that I'm at. All right, now back to full. Let's go. Up to fifth gear. Brake pressure established. Get that downshift on look to the right. This is the corner that we were working on when we were in the classroom talking about it. Run a tidy with me. There you go. Now let's get a throttle all the way out. Get right to my bumper here. Looking ahead. Spot your braking done. Get our braking done right before that too. Watch my left side here. All the curbing. And we're keeping the car in fourth gear all the way to the S's. Notice the braking references on my right. Notice the turning cone on my right. Scan to the left. Look for the apex. And we have lots going on in here. Lots of turning cones, lots of apex cones, I should say. Try to drive a smooth, straight as possible line with the car until we get to this point. Notice how I'm straddling the seam in the asphalt again with the tires. If we do that in favor of the left-hand side, it's going to open the radius into the first S. We're going to downshift to third right here where I'm at, near that turning cone on my left. 